1911. I am here at the world's largest gun show and one of the coolest things about this gun show is the fact that they are showcasing Ruger firearms and these amazing Ruger firearms collectors are here with their gorgeous exhibits and so I've been talking with some of them and I'd like to introduce you to my friend Vince. Vince is a Ruger firearm collector and so we're just going to ask Vince a few questions about his collection and we'll have some pictures we're gonna show you of his collection and we're just gonna go down the row. There's a huge row of collectors here, so should be a pretty interesting story. So first of all, Vince, thank you so much for meeting with us today. Um, can you tell me how long have you been a Ruger firearm collector? Older than you are. <laughs> I think I started collecting somewhere in my early 20s. And I'm well over 70 now, so figure out. <laughs> Not a day over 70. Uh, <laughs> many, many years over 70. <laughs> but uh, a long time I've been collecting. Mm -hmm. So what got you into Ruger versus other firearms? Well, I like the single action Rugers, okay? Mm -hmm. Guns yeah. like this. Yeah. I had a choice of doing these or doing Colts. Uh -huh. If you take a look at the price tag, especially 30 years ago, yeah. you could buy these for $300 and you could pay $1,000 for a Colt. Right. So I thought buying three Rugers was better than buying one Colt. <laughs> I think that's a financially sound decision. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, okay, can you tell me, uh, what is your favorite addition to your collection? What's well, the favorite thing you have in it? This this display here is one of my favorite displays. I have several displays. Oh, wow. This one only showcases what they call the brass frame guns. Okay. All of these guns have a brass frame, mm -hmm. and they're all done by Ruger. These are factory brass frames, not the add-ons or aftermarkets or right. anything like that. So, collecting these is a challenge because mm -hmm. you got one or two of each caliber. Right. I got two 357s, two 41s, two 45s, two 44s, mm -hmm. and three old armies, and that's kind of a special division. Okay. They are quite rare, these brass frames, like this old, this uh, Super Blackhawk. Mm -hmm. It was made in the 60s, and they only made 20 of them. Oh my gosh. So try and find one. And you have one. Yes, I have one. <laughs> That's that pretty cool. 44 there is probably my favorite only because it took me 15 years to find it. Wow. They only made 61 of them. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. So So where where do you where do you go to look for these? Do you look online? Do you look with other vendors like <laughs> just places like you, this? You go to gun shows like this and yeah. you go online. Nowadays, I get buy a lot, I don't buy a lot, but I find a lot online. Mm -hmm. they, people put them on auction. Yeah. And I buy them like that. Yeah. Most of the hard ones, like the, that one and this one, you get from another collector. Uh-huh. You, you can't find them. They're just not available. You know, there's only 20 made, so yeah. good luck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Well, I can see why you'd be really proud of this display and, you know, I love how you just have everything set up. You've got the labels and, you know, it's just really clear. Do you feel like, um, do you feel like that people appreciate these well, if collections? They, if they enjoy Ruger's, uh -huh. they would appreciate the collection. Yeah. I've set this collection up to educate the public right. that comes by. As you see, it tells on every one of them, it gives you the uh, date it was manufactured uh -huh. and how many were made. Yeah. So if you're coming in and you're looking and you want to know something about it, all you got to do is read a little bit mm -hmm. and you got a pretty good 
overlay of the brass frame yeah. Rugers. Yeah. Now, like I said, this is only a sub collection of everything else. Mm -hmm. I have a full collection of Super Blackhawks. I got 31 of them. Oh I got gosh. a complete collection of 357s. I have every 357 you made. Wow. Okay, wow. I have a complete collection of 41. Uh -huh. All in all, I've got over 100 Rugers. Oh my gosh, <laughs> over 100 Rugers. <laughs> yeah. Of, so, the, of the Blackhawks, of, yeah. that's all. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I don't collect rifles. I don't collect shotguns. I'm not into that. Okay. This is what I like. Now, okay, do you ever fire any of these when you buy them? Fire any? Yeah. That's a sacrilegious. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of no. had a feeling, but I wanted to make sure. Yeah, no, these never get... The most that they do is get taken out of the box to wipe off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wow. And they all have the boxes, too. That's the other part of the collection that you want to have is the boxes. Yeah. They go with these guns. Yeah. Absolutely. This gun here, they only made one of them. This is the only gun known. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah I see that. Only one known. That's incredible. Oh, that's gorgeous. Are those stag grips? Yeah. Okay. They're oh, not wow. original stag grips, but okay. they, are, they are real stag. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Well... So, I don't know, do you do the research on these guns first and then try to find them? Or do you run across a Ruger and then say, ooh, and well, then you get it and then you it. it kind of goes it. half and half. Okay. Like some of these guns, when I first started, I didn't even know they made. Yeah. And then I found out they make and then you start looking for them. <laughs> and then when you find them, you hope you have enough money to buy them. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, like my husband always says. When you see one like that, you buy it and you worry about where the money's going to come from later. <laughs> well, my Just wife talked it. me into buying this one. This was a very expensive gun. My wife says, you got to have it. Yeah. I said, I'm not paying that much money for it. <laughs> and she says, yes, you are. Yeah. So I bought it. Yeah. Well, that is a good wife. So yeah. congratulations to you. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. You. I'm sure lots of guys would hope for a wife like that. So. Yeah. My husband is lucky enough to have one of those wives, too. <laughs> my wife un is very understanding with my collection, and yeah. she's very patient with yeah. it. Yeah. And she's sitting back there. <laughs> <laughs> hiding, hiding away from the camera. <laughs> and she comes to all the gun shows with me. Yeah, that is so cool. And then we sit around looking at everything. Yeah. I go around the show looking for Rugers. Yeah. I can't find any that I don't have. Well, that's kind of a bad thing and a good thing. Well, I mean, what I've done then is I've added to my collection. Yeah. You see, like on the 41s, the old models that I collect, these are all old model guns. Yeah. So I decided I want to expand my collection. Mm -hmm. So I started collecting new model 41s. <laughs> you <laughs> so, might as well branch out. Yeah, that's uh, just an addition to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's turned out to be a real challenge. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Well, Vince, I, I love this. Um, you know, this is just such a great collection, and I really appreciate you taking the time to no problem. meet Thank with you. me and show us this. And we're going to make our way down the line, and we're going to talk to some more people and, uh, you know, just keep looking at all these gorgeous Rugers. So thank you so much, Vince. There's Have some real nice show. ones down there. Yep, there definitely are. <laughs> All right, I'm here with Terry, and Terry has a really cool, uh, really cool collection. I was just talking with him about. So Terry, first of all, tell me how you got started in collecting Rugers. Uh, well, shortly right out of high school, and I just got a, just got a real interest in the, uh, in the in the Rugers after after taking them apart and seeing how e how easy and 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 the, the way they were manufactured. They're simply they're just my choice yeah. after after looking at other ones that I took apart and cleaned for people but <laughs> they, they, they were just a lot easier to work with yeah and not only that they're 100 percent American made that is absolutely true that's mm -hmm. a good point so okay tell me about I'm, I'm just really excited to get to what is on Terry's table because this is just amazing this is an amazing piece to a collection so Terry tell me what's on your table uh this is Bill Ruger's personal personal shotgun it's a all all engraved by his his own engraver that he went to russia to, to get 
Wow. And, and he stayed, he became a citizen of the U.S. Paul Lantouk did all the engraving. Uh, and after getting to know the family, probably 15, 20 years, uh, they just decided that I'd be, a, I'd be a real good caretaker of some of the family heirlooms. Yeah, that's amazing. And you know, we never know who we're gonna run across in our lives, yep. right? Where our path leads us and right. your path led you to that family and they decided mm -hmm you would be a good caretaker of this beautiful yep. piece. So uh, what other kinds of things do you have in your personal Ruger collection, like favorites of yours? Well, my, my, my real, my real uh, pride and joy of collecting Rugers is the M77 rifles. I, I, I started collecting those right almost the same time as I collected all my Rugers, but yeah. it, I, I, just, I, just, I just really like the, I like the rifles the best, the M77 flat bolts. Yeah. And I was, I was actually able to acquire Bill's personal rifle, serial number one and two as well. Is, wow. is, is this is, is this shotgun? Not many people can say that. <laughs> none. That's yeah, not, exactly. None, none. none can say that. One. Because <laughs> uh, uh, and actually the serial number one, that's yeah. the only that's the only Ruger that ever left the factory bearing serial number one. Wow. The rest are still held at the factory. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Yeah. And you have it. Yeah, I sure do. <laughs> Wow. Well, Terry, thank you so much for mm -hmm. taking a couple minutes to talk sure. to us. This is just so cool. I really appreciate yep. Yep. I really appreciate your time. More and, than welcome. You know, I think people are going to love to see this. We're going to yep. show some pictures of this so that our viewers can see what an incredibly gorgeous piece this is. So thank yep. you so much, Terry. Mm -hmm. You're more than welcome. <laughs> All right, so we are here now in one of the final displays in this whole big, beautiful exhibit. And we're with our friend Lee. Lee is not only a Ruger collector, but he also is one of the founding members of this organization, this collector's organization. So before we get into his collection, I want to hear from you, Lee. How did you get this group started? What was your, you know, what was your, your goal or vision for starting this group? We actually have three different clubs that collect Rugers. We have the Ruger Collectors Association in uh, Connecticut. We have the Red Eagle News Exchange, which is an individual in Iowa that puts out a quarterly publication about collecting Rugers, new models, reviews of old models. And then we have the, the youngest of the organization, it's called ROCKS, Ruger Owners Collectors Society. We are a group of strictly Ruger collectors band together in 2014 at this show to form our own club. Uh, I've been involved in the publication of our biannual uh, digest and have it printed for us at a local shop in the state where I live. Um, we print mostly articles written by members, uh, reviews of gun shows where we exhibit, such as here at Tulsa, and uh, we can advertise for things we're looking for. We advertise with our business cards, and it's a great way of uh, communicating, mm -hmm. along with our uh, website. We do have a website, RugerSociety.com. All right, so all that being said, we've got this really cool display back here. Now, this is your personal collection. Correct. Um, so how did you get started? What, was, what, what drew you to the Ruger? Um, I bought my first uh, Ruger Single Six while going to college and used it for squirrel hunting and a sidearm for small game. And it proved to be very accurate dependable, mm -hmm. flexible with two cylinders, 22 long rifle, 22 magnum. And soon after that, I found one in 357. And this was back in the uh, middle 1960s yeah. when I started. Mm -hmm. They were affordable, dependable, easily cared for and maintained, and they were single actions. I love shooting single action revolvers. Yeah. Uh, from there, uh, I thought I wanted to branch out into other brands. I found they were not as dependable. I found that they were more expensive. 
and uh, some of those that I considered, uh, I couldn't find what I was looking for. Rugers are more readily available. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and depending on what you're looking for too, you know. The, so, yes. so okay. So tell me, what's your favorite thing in your collection? Do you have one favorite piece in your collection? Uh, that's hard to describe because I have a huge collection. <laughs> Whatever is in your hands at the time, right? Correct, correct. <laughs> I've got probably three or four subgroups. We're on camera. <laughs> three or four subgroups of collections. Uh huh. Um, all old model, three screws, um, without transfer bars or safety yeah. kits, I should say. Yeah. And uh, I have one of my most popular behind me, my brass grip frame collection of all of the factory offered calibers, the barrel lengths, and the styles. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's taken me about 35 years to find them all. Wow. So, okay, do you have, this is your, this is your brass grip frame collection. You have other I do. collections that you bring with you to shows? Uh, I alternate between, like I say, three or four of them. Mm -hmm. I have a collection of guns that are all the same serial number, oh, serial wow. number 40. Oh, wow. I have seven models in that collection that I display. <laughs> That's cool. It's just serial number four zero. Uh huh. Uh, I have a collection of ten inch revolvers, mm -hmm. both three fifty seven and forty four Magnum, and they are all new in boxes. Yeah. Um, those would be along with my brass frames. Those would probably be the ones that I spend the most time with. Yeah. Okay. So obviously you don't take these out and shoot them, but do no. you have? Do you have your shootable Rugers at Certainly. home? Certainly. <laughs> What's a, your favorite thing to shoot? Probably a 22 pistol. Yeah. Uh, it's inexpensive. Mm -hmm. Ammunition, I've always been able to find it. Yeah. I shoot with a group of guys indoor uh, at a sportsman's club every Friday evening. And um, it's, uh, it's an easy gun to maintain. Yeah. It's a uh, 22 45 heavy barrel slab side Mark I. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. With a, with a red dot. Yeah. Well, we love. We've got several marks, and yes, we love them. They're so easy to shoot. They are. <laughs> we just love to go out. We'll we'll take those to an outdoor range and just clink, clink with those. Yep. And oh my gosh. We have steel plates that we have to knock over, or we have uh, NRI NRA bullseye targets, yeah. paper targets. Yeah. So okay, so let's go back to uh, rocks. What is your, what's your hope for this group in the future? None of us are getting any younger. <laughs> uh, I'm 76 and uh, I have to decide what, what I'm gonna do with my collection down the road. Fortunately, I've got two grandsons <laughs> and they are getting spoiled rotten <laughs> with uh, guns that I'm supplying them to shoot. Yep. And they stay, they all stay at my house and uh, we maintain them and clean them, and I have a, an open 22 range in my backyard. Wow. Where we can shoot. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> uh, I'm teaching them gun safety. Yeah. Uh, I'm a bird dog owner and love to hunt pheasant, mm -hmm. so I take them pheasant hunting with me. Yeah. Uh, I'm a bit disappointed that Ruger discontinued their shotgun line. Uh, I do own some Ruger shotguns, including a uh, uh, gold label side by side, but we're primarily uh, shooting for the fun of it. Uh, I do a lot of work with Pheasants Forever youth hunts. I guide for the youth with my dog and my grandsons, and uh, it's rewarding to have them work directly with me. Gun safety, yeah. eye and ear protection, yeah. pointing a muzzle. Uh, never loading a gun in the house, yep. all of that stuff that yep. we don't hear about on the news. Right, right, exactly. It's all negative. All of the positive things that right. yes. firearms owners are doing all the time. So We have uh, youth groups in high school that shoot competitive, mm -hmm. uh, trap and skeet, clay targets, and uh, 22 rimfire targets. Yeah. And yeah. we support those youth programs. Yes, absolutely. They're the future of our They shooters, are. So, they are. Yeah. Well, Lee, thank you so much. I really well, appreciate your time. Certainly. And good to meet you. I know that everybody that's watching this has just, you know, they they love Rugers. When I do Ruger videos, they just 
it's everybody locked on. Everybody loves it. Everybody, everybody has had some experience with a Ruger at one time or another. Yep. And I never hear anything bad about a Ruger. So that's correct. Yep. All right. Well, thank you so much. Make sure you hit like and subscribe on this video. Let your friends and family know. Don't forget, we have our 5,000 subscriber giveaway that we're doing for the Dylan RL 550C. So make sure you pass that information along too. And I can't wait to talk to you all again soon.